Good morning. Good morning. Ryan, it's so lovely to see you. Thank you. Um, do you know, Ryan, it's strange that we're even having to have this conversation. The first openly gay person in football. I mean, it's 2017. Like, where are we going wrong, do you think, within the game? Um, I think football is a very specific sport. Um, I think it will change gradually over time. Um, I think as we evolve a society and I think as more people and create an environment where people can be themselves, I think football will change. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of campaigns, aren't there? I mean, you're involved uh, with a lot of campaigns within the game. There's a lot of allies, people that aren't gay, that promote diversity and want people to be happy within themselves. Because when you are yourself, you do perform better. Mm -hmm. Of course. And so why did you feel now then comfortable enough to, well, to express this part of your life with the rest of us? Some family and friends have known for a while um, and being promoted this season, I thought it was the right time. I think as a referee, um, when we officiate, we are neutral. That's actually the irony of it all, isn't it? Yeah. That, that, that is the approach that you have to take. But unfortunately, referees will always get it in the neck anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why you, you can do this as a job. I, I've been to many a football game, I'm as sure. you can imagine, and I just think, oh, why, why would these guys want to do it? <laughs> It's it's a really interesting career to take. Interesting is a good word for yeah, it. It's yeah, it's interesting, but it's good fun as well. And it's a different part of the sport that we, people don't always see. I think for myself, um, people need to think about when they have a child in front of them and they're shouting homophobic abuse. Um, something like 80,000 young children attempt suicide every year because of, of their sexuality. And I think that's really sad. And so when you've got somebody shouting homophobic abuse, you've got to remember that that child potentially could be LGBT, mm -hmm. you know, and they could be your grandson, your granddaughter, or your son or daughter. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people have got to remember that, you know, you're not just directing it at people that are on the field of play, there are people around you within the stands. Yeah, no, of course, of course. And your first game tonight then, since yeah. sitting on the sofa here and, and, and openly talking, um, how do you feel about stepping out on the pitch tonight? Uh, nervous, um, but the key thing is to be judged as a referee uh, and not as a gay referee. Um, I want to be respected for my job on the pitch and hopefully make the right decisions. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, the FA, um, welcomed your statement. They described it as a landmark sign of progress. Uh, yeah. what, what do you make of that? Um, I'm very humbled by that statement. Um, I've had a lot of support. Actually, I've been overwhelmed by the support from around the world. Um, I've had messages from South Africa, Uganda, places where um, obviously being um, homosexual is still um, illegal, 72 countries. Obviously, the more people that do feel happy and more content to, to speak out and, and to, to come out, it obviously normalises everything. They should feel content to be able to express who they are. And football is the one sport for me feels like it's slightly behind the other sports. It is slightly, um, but it is getting there. And I think the organisations are making big strides to ensure that people do feel included mm -hmm. and that goes from park football all the way up to professional football with UEFA they've got a recent mandate that when countries are now bidding for um, major tournaments they must have LGBT policies in place and it's quite sad that places like Russia um, and others don't have that currently but moving forward they will do. And what would you like to see change on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I think from a, a general perception um, outside of the refereeing community, I think uh, if people are making homophobic remarks, I think it should be treated the same as uh, racist remarks and people should be removed from grounds and they should receive bans because it's exactly the same and why it's not dealt with at the, uh, the same, we don't know yet, but mm. it will get there eventually. Yeah, and I guess um, just the players themselves because obviously a lot of these big footballing names are yeah. hugely influential, particularly on, on, on young children. Yeah. Um, I guess them speaking out more potentially would, would also help. Yeah, I think it would. And it's about having allies. It's about people having an inclusive environment and making it friendly. Um, Phil Neville did an article yesterday and sort of praised me for doing it. And he's, you know, obviously somebody very famous who's played for Manchester United. He's played for Everton, uh, you know, and it's, it, it needs more people who are not particularly gay or, or a lesbian to actually come out and say, 
that's not appropriate. We need to make it more inclusive because I think people will feel themselves and they will um, be better in themselves if they feel that the environment is suitable. And then actually people won't need to come out because they are who they are. Mm. Um, and it's not about getting people to come out. It's about making it more friendly and an inclusive environment. Yeah, and as you say, it, it is full of children at, at football matches, isn't it? There's yeah. no getting away from that. I mean, I have sat up in the stands and heard the most <laughs> atrocious language. Probably not for air. Uh, oh, absolutely not for air, yes. <laughs> But as you say, there's little kids all over the place and you yeah. think, this is this is now looking like it's normal. <laughs> and I think we're making big strides in football to ensure that those comments are picked up and people are challenged when they make those comments. Yeah, no, absolutely. We're right. Good luck tonight. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, I hope the match goes well. And it's it's great to talk to you, as you say. The Thank more you. we talk about this, the better it is, isn't it? Great Thank to you. see you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.